Hello. We came to power last May, the first Liberal Democrat West Berkshire Council administration for 18 years. We had a lot to learn and a lot to discover, including many issues that we weren't able to see in opposition. Things that we now know and can see are very serious problems in the Council. As we were getting our bearings, we were taken aback to learn within eight weeks of taking office that the Council was facing a projected budget overspend in this financial year of nearly £8 million. That was very serious. And therefore, without immediate action, we were facing bankruptcy as the overspend exceeded the inherited general reserves of £7 million. We had to immediately focus on getting that down. I don't mind telling you that we have had to face the possibility that we might have had to declare a bankrupt position as Birmingham, Woking, Slough and other councils have done recently. And many people don't know about the range of services that their council provides. We deliver over 700 different services and initiatives and we do that to keep our residents, over 168,000 of them, safe and healthy. The most critical services we provide are to keep people safe. People are in danger of getting irreparably harmed and others who we need to help because they are in a bad place and struggling. But this is very expensive. We must protect them and we don't resent that. But I must share with you that just 40 cases on their own are costing your council over £10 million. That is 5% of our budget. And thousands of council taxpayers are covering that demand. So this should give you a bit of an understanding of the challenges we face. And overall, demand for the council's social care services has been increasing for a number of years, with the cost of delivering these services rising from £58 million in 2014 to £97 million the current year, representing a £39 million increase at 68% in 10 years. The spending on these services equates to over half, 56%, of the Council's overall annual costs of £174 million. In past years, the Council has not put enough aside to cope with the demand, and we've had to utilise our rainy day general reserves to balance the books. Obviously, these budget pressures took up a lot of our time. But I'm really pleased to tell you, despite the challenges we face, we have avoided a statement of bankruptcy to central government. What would it have meant if we had had to declare that your council could not cover its bills? The government would have sent commissioners in to run your services, and they would have had no real interest in making sure you received good services. Their focus would have been simply on making the finances work. So here we are. Nine months into our administration. We have avoided bankruptcy, but we are low on council reserves, our rainy day money that we must have against any future big problems. We have to rebuild back our general risk reserves. We can't have your services living hand to mouth. And we have delivered things we promised to do. We have a football pitch back at Faraday Road. We introduced our community forums where you can come and talk to the council about important things that we should be improving. We ask one of our opponent councillors to interrogate what we do through our scrutiny committee so that we can be properly challenged and not effectively mark our own homework. We've also changed the tone of how we treat people and we are listening to you. Everyone's view matters. We won't always agree with people who challenge us but we, we will always respect their views and give them a fair hearing. So we are now setting our first budget. It hasn't been easy and I'm sorry that I might seem to be saying everything is difficult, but we have had to find ways of saving over £14 million in the next year, over 8% of our entire budget. We've closed that gap and we've avoided some very difficult decisions. We considered closing one of our care homes and we know how distressing this can be for people. My wife's father is in a care home and me moving him would be very upsetting, so we aren't unaware of the risks. Happily. We've avoided this, but it isn't necessarily the best outcome for your council to run care homes. And we have three that might be better run by providers whose sole business is delivering care homes and services. We are looking at that in the next year. As I said earlier, the demands of the social care budget were higher than anticipated. And so in the coming year, we will be setting aside an additional £12.3 million to spend on social care and thereby help to keep children safe and families together and ensure that older people and vulnerable adults are looked after and supported to live independently. I firmly believe that we have protected your services and you should not see any detrimental change to the services you receive. 
Over the next 12 months, we must change the way we operate so that we manage our finances better and begin to deliver much better services to you. This will take real transformation in how we do things at the Council. Such changes cannot be done overnight, but we are working very hard indeed to make the changes needed. We have protected services and will be starting to phase out the green bin charge that we are steadfastly against. We can't eliminate it overnight. It provides nearly £2 million of income that we spend on services. But we have always been against this. You used to get this service within your council tax payments and suddenly you had to pay extra for it. That is wrong. And the charge doesn't encourage people to get a green bin and recycle their garden waste. We know we must make difficult choices, but this just isn't right for us. So we're making the start and phasing this out. I know this isn't the big reduction, but it is a start. We asked people about reducing or phasing out certain services, and as a result, having listened to you, we will not be reducing gully clearing, which people will appreciate, especially given the recent floods. We will maintain our dog bin and waste bin collections, but we'll be talking to the parish and town councils about taking them over, and we think that may well be more effective. And although we plan to reduce the frequency of grass cutting, we are doing this in a sensible way. So we are listening to you and finding ways to avoid damaging cuts even with the, with the most profound pressure on our services. But within these measures we have avoided or scaled back, I am really pleased we are allocating £25,000 towards cleaning many of our road signs. As you drive around our district you will have noticed the really poor state of our road signs. This needs to be addressed. We live in a lovely area and grubby signs makes us look like a council that doesn't care. We will sort this out. Little things like this mean a lot. And we will be in investing in infrastructure across the district with a £50 million capital programme that will see more than £10 million invested in schools and education. £4 million spent on improving our roads and a £1 million on active travel schemes to encourage people to use their cars a bit less. Others are already saying that we're making big mistakes and I hear those criticisms but I reject them. We have been in charge of a council for nine months and by listening to you and the things that are important to you we've made a positive impact in that time. I think people are much more reasonable than this. They do understand that we are having to get to grips with some very big problems and they are prepared to give us a chance to make things better. I have heard for many years that people think that West Berkshire Council should provide great services and I agree with them. That is our mission but we need a bit of time to do that. Will you give us the space to do that, please? We are full of energy, enthusiasm and determination. As you can appreciate, the primary focus of our time since taking office has been preventing the council being declared bankrupt. Please give us some time. We are working our socks off to make things better and focusing on achieving that. We are as impatient as you are to improve our services and give you better value for your council tax. We will deliver very good things for you, but you have to manage the finances better than they have been. We hope you will find this budget to be a good start in getting the finances stronger and helping pave the way to delivering very good things for all our residents in the years ahead. Thank you very much.